Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And today our topic is Revival versus Darkness. Many people of the traditional churches are claiming a great revival will come. And they are not lying. Actually, they are right. But this revival will not take place in the traditional churches, nor will it take place in the world or in Babylon. It will not take place at the places of the false teachers and false doctrines. Revival will only take place when you escape all these things that will come onto this earth. When you separate yourself, when you vanish for the world, when you die for the world. Then you come out and never go back into the world, as Lot did. Not being Lot's wife who returned back and then died. Because if you return and turn back to the world, the Antichrist will catch you and you will either take the mark or you will die. But now you have a chance to walk that narrow and straight path, the path in the middle to Mount Zion, the holy mountain. Everything is written in the Bible about this. Read Habakkuk 3, for example. Everything is mentioned there that there will be harvest workers, that there will be a Mount Zion, that God is coming with Mount Zion, and that he will rescue his people towards that holy mountain. So whatever we are preaching and teaching is biblical truth and heavenly spirit, not our own making not our own story, not our own design, but everything was given to us from the Holy Spirit through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Now, if you want to take part in that revival, and the great revival must come, because we see at the six seal a multitude closed and white that nobody could number, so a great revival must come. A great harvest must take place, but it will not take place in the world, it will not take place in Babylon, it will not take place in the traditional churches. It will only take place in the rose places, in the places, the dwelling places of Zion, in the places of the Lord, the places of safety, that he will cover, and that he will instruct, and that he will protect, and where he will teach and train his disciples so that they get empowered to go into the neighborhoods and to bring in the harvest. And even the harvest will join these dwelling places of Zion. They will come all together in love, unity and support. And they will stand separated from the world, never return for careers, never return for family things, never return for, for money issues, never serve the beast system anymore, but only serving the heavenly kingdom. You will be separated. For the world you will have vanished, but God is protecting you with a cloud and smoke by day and a flaming fire by night. You will be protected, as the Israelites were protected when they came out of Egypt. If they would have gone back, Pharaoh would have killed them, but they never turned back. They walked towards the promised land, the same as we in the great Exodus do. We walk towards our promised land, which is paradise. And there we will enter as a multitude clothed in white at the sixth seal. There we will be raptured into. And we all will be there and it will be so great and so perfect. Watch the vision that many people have about paradise and how it looks like. It cannot be a better place because we will be together with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and with our Holy Father, Abba Father, forever and ever. So now let us come together in love, unity and support. Build the dwelling places of Zion. Get protected. Let us escape from this world. Not thinking anymore about this world. Never going back to sin or temptations. But come out of the world and become as close as possible to Jesus Christ. Become his true bride. Become a true copy of his. That we walk, act and talk as he did. So that the world will not only face one Jesus as it was at his time, but now the world will see thousands of Jesus who will walk, talk and act and do miracles in the world. 
The world could not even handle one Jesus. What about 1,000 or 10,000 of them? It will be such a great sight to see. These people filled with the Holy Spirit, filled with the fiery tongues, being able to do miracles, being able to bring in the harvest of the ages. And you will be part of it. Just come together and establish a dwelling place sign in your home. If you do not know how, we have a training course right now from the 15th of December to the 15th of February. A certified course to become an elder and establish a dwelling place in your home or in your neighborhood. In the first pin comment, there is a link to Eventbrite. Just sign up for it. Deadline to sign up is the 10th of December. Do it right now because there's a special discount for the early birds. Be part of it. Join us. Walk with us together. If you have questions what to do and how you can come out of the world together with your family, just send me an email to triplegrace55 at gmail.com and I will tell you what to do. Everything what I tell you is given by the Holy Spirit. Nothing has come from me. Over the last 10 years, God has trained me for this time and hour right now. Together, you together, on the restored altar that is built with the 12 unknown stones. And then gathering you with the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, so that you can be the harvest workers of the Lord. Thank you that you have listened to this topic, and I hope you will join the training academy and our training course for becoming an elder and establish a dwelling place of Zion in your home. And if you are guided this Christmas season to help us and our mission in Cambodia, there is also a link in the first pink comment to follow. Or in the description box you can see the paper links. So please assist us, help us so that we can spread the word to all the corners in the world and that we get people activated so that they can walk now that path towards the holy mountain, towards Mount Zion, where we will all be raptured into paradise. Maranatha, come Lord, come quickly. Praise the Lord and praise Abba Father. Have a blessed day. Maranatha.